Welcome back to The Big Idea. Okay, I want you to think about the things you do every day. Is there something that really annoys you? It could be a product or a service, but it's something that doesn't even work right or fit right or look right. Well, tonight we're turning these words, there's got to be a better way, into your action plan for millions. And my next guest is a woman who noticed something frustrating for kids. Cozy Friedman, owner of Cozy's Cuts for Kids. Welcome, how are you doing? Hi, good, how are you? Okay, so this whole show tonight is there's got to be a better way you found it when you actually heard one of your friends talking about a day with their nephew. That's right. Um, my friend was telling me a story about how she was going to have a special day with her nephew, and she decided, let me take him for a haircut. It will be so much fun. She took him to her salon. When he started to cry, um, the, you know, the people were very nice in the salon, but they said, I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. So when she told me the story, I couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, there has to be a better way. Right. Um, so I, I mean, I, there was no special place haircuts for kids at this point. I mean, at basically, this point, you there, just go to a typical there barber. There was no place that you'd go to a typical barber. Maybe there's one chair in the back that kids would go to. You know, they might give them a lollipop, but that was it. And so I thought there should be a place that not only welcomes children, but a place really where children want to go to. Like, they get their haircut. Right, exactly. What they would look forward to going to. So you, and basically, you look around and this didn't exist? I looked around. It did not exist. Amazing. Um, so I took action. And what'd you do? I quit my job. First I, good step. We love that. I quit that. my job. I went to barber school. I worked in toy stores. I worked in an indoor playground. I worked, you know, I just put, submerged myself in the so children's business. I'm going to learn business. kids and I'm going to learn haircut. Absolutely. I learned everything. Okay. And it took you two years to find two your first years. place. And what was the problem with finding a location? I could not find a landlord that would rent to me a space. I was because young. Why? I was not married. I had no retail background. Nobody wanted to go out on a limb for me. Right. But you finally found it two years later. You opened up. I found a great location right on Madison Avenue in New York City. I opened up from day one. We were busy. It day was one, amazing. they were lined around the corner. So Absolutely. basically, if I walk in. What, what happens now in this place versus a traditional haircut? When you come into my shop, the, ch the child gets to pick, do they want to sit in a blue Mercedes? Do they want to sit in a Porsche? What do they want to do while they come in? Um, they can watch a DVD. They can play GameCube. We have people on staff that we hired literally just to entertain the children. So like, duh, instead of you took what was maybe the worst half hour, an hour of a parent's day with their Absolutely, kids. Absolutely, something dreaded. And turned it into a place they want to go. Absolutely. I see kids begging their parents, please, mom, I need a haircut, please. And no, Johnny, you got one last week. What a great, I, I want you to listen to Cozy, because once again, think about your day. Think about do, something you do with your kids. Think about what you do with yourself, your drive to work, whatever it is. And anytime you go, this is not right. There's got to be a better way. There is a million dollar idea. Something as simple as they weren't, didn't have haircut places specifically for kids. There's got to be a better way for kids to get a haircut. Duh. Now you got three of these locations. Mm -hmm. Two and a half million bucks a year you're making, and you've already started to launch products out of this place. Right. Well, a couple of years ago, I realized that there was no line of professional hair care specifically for children. You know, a, a line that you'd want to use on your own children with vitamins and minerals and nutrients, all natural. So I created So Cozy Hair Care for Children, which um, is made for children. It's friendly. It has fruity fragrances. The kids love it. The packaging is great. The parents love it. And that now we sell all over the country. We wholesale that around the country. And you just, how'd you figure out how to do that? I learned. And the greatest part is that I worked with a lab that, you know, was happy to make formulations for us. They would ship it over to us, and then we could really test it on all the thousands of kids you had whose your own hair little, we're cutting. You right. had your own we had our own lab, right. It's amazing. But once again, I want everybody to listen. You learn. The way you figure out a new business is you start to figure out, you learn. Nobody knows anything before they do it, and you just do it. Right. And it's great. Absolutely. And the big lesson here, the big magic words are? There's got to be a better there's way. There's got to be a way. There is always a better way. You found it. You're making the big bucks. Cozy Freeman, owner of Cozy's Cuts for Kids. Okay. Something's bothering you. I know it. It's in your home, your car, your work. We're figuring out how to turn frustration into cash tonight because there's always got to be a better way. More of these great stories because you're going to find that better way tonight. I have a big idea.